have, uh, we have the ring here and I have to uh, start uh, from uh, explanation because uh, I have uh, the 20 minute speech, everybody has 10 minute speech, it's uh, in just uh, from the <laughs> very beginning, but uh, this is because I, I'm, I will try to introduce the uh, idea of uh, Voice Free Europe and then uh, we'll have my speech. I uh, was thinking if maybe I should uh, divide this, but uh, then um, I think there, there is no need because uh, this view of situation in, po in Poland, this is also part of the cause of uh, Voice for Europe uh, idea. So, uh, forgive me and uh, I will join this. To welcome you very warmly and cordially at this conference, at this convention of Voice Free Europe. In this room, we have journalists, bloggers, social activists from France, Spain, Czech, Holland, England, Ukraine, as Italy, Poland, Georgia, Ukraine. And I would like to well uh, to thank you very much for being here and uh, for your willingness to share your ideas about what's going on today in your countries and also in Europe. Uh, everybody came with uh, his or her own analysis and the perception of the situation. We come from different countries. Maybe there are certain issues which will differ us, maybe some things will be surprising and we will not agree with each other, but we are here for this need for the freedom of speech. So we will create this environment for the unlimited sharing of our attitudes. And this meeting is thanks to the support of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which co-financed the voice for Europe uh, within the uh, contest for the NGO organizations and the host of today's conference is Solidarni 2010. And I would like to thank you so much for your presence here. And I would like to start from the basic things, from explaining what is Voice Free Europe. This is the social movement. This is the invitation to coact, which will be the response to the contemporary needs and the threats of Europe, Christianity, uh, patriotism, lack of censorship and political correctness. These are these slogans that we would like to support. We believe that we should be the community of sovereign states functioning on the same rules, being proud of their identities, history, customs, and values. States which cooperate in favor of the secure Europe, Europe which is ready to face the uh, invasion of radical Islam and the military aggression of Russia. Europe shouldn't be subject to the dominance of one nation, neither in the past, not at present, not in future, nor in future. We would like to have Europe uh, come back to its Christian roots, uh, to unlimited public discourse, to respect uh, each other and to use our common sense. A voice for Europe, this is the rejection of all the regimes, both fascism and communism, and also the rejection of uh, uh, the regime of uh, lies, uh, which uh, is 
it's uh, a hindrance which makes a human being a slave. So truth is the first victim of war. And in Europe, uh, we have a war. We have a war, a military war in the eastern part of Europe. We have also a propaganda information war in the entire Europe. So the truth requires courage, courage and effort, effort to learn to understand the facts, analyze the facts, and also to differentiate truth from lies. And my presence here results from the need of my heart, from my own experience, from my own combat with lies and the breakthrough moment. And I'm talking about my own experience here. I'm moving to this part to explain why I am here in Voice Free Europe. And this break for a moment for me was the death of the Polish president in Russia and 95 key persons in the Polish state who also died there. Donald Tusk, who is now the chairman of the European Council, gave the leading of this investigation at the Russians' disposals in the light of the international law. And up to this moment, Poland cannot get from Russia the return of the wreckage of the plane and the black uh, boxes. These are the very important, this is a very important evidence uh, in the light of the investigation just to explain the reasons and the conduct of this catastrophe in Smolensk. We know from the recent uh, reports uh, published of the recent government, which were disseminated, that the Polish of, that the chairman of the Polish Commission uh, investigating the cause of the Smolensk catastrophe demanded from from the uh, uh, e from the members of this commission that the uh, results of this uh, commission are not different than the results of the Russians investigation that was the independent commission investigating the causes of that cata of that catastrophe that crash uh, but both reports both uh, the Russian MAC report and Polish report uh, uh, delivered so far prepared at the former government are in the contrary to the law of laws of physics and the evidence up to now we don't we cannot get the answer why it was so possible when this plane with no speed actually descended and crushes the land and does not leave any crater and the former commission on investigating the cause of the catastrophe was obliged by the court by the Polish court to answer this question, there was no answer provided. So I encourage you to learn about this. And on your tables, we have brochures summarizing in a very simple way uh, of the uh, heritage of one hundreds of uh, scientists, uh, also Polish scientists who participated in their scientific conferences. And the conclusion drawn from their research is that there is no other scientific research uh, uh, as only the, the reason is that there was an explosion in the air, in the mid-air. And when uh, Putin Russia invaded Georgia, uh, Mr. Kaczynski actually uh, wanted all the countries to get uh, uh, to join together and to prevent also Ukraine from uh, invasion. And in media in Europe and in the world, especially in Poland, Lech Kaczynski was discredited through lies and de de defamation lies and injustice and uh, these I'm talking about lies and I see this reason to fight with it and maybe you will have your own experience how to fight with lies and difficulties to reach the public opinion with uh, the topics that you came here for. And I would like to say that uh, 
that what is my personal experience is also lying in in the context of the Second World War. Polish people. Uh, equally with Jews were victims of Holocaust uh, destined for exter extermination but in the world media we have this opinion as the Polish concentration camps uh, and we call the German concentration camps uh, uh, in Poland by this term so this is not that big difference in language but maybe the next generations will not differentiate who was murdering and who is a victim, but now we estimate that in the Second World War, the six million people, uh, Polish people died, and three million are Polish people of Jewish origin and three million of original Polish uh, inhabitants, and Poland was uh, invaded by uh, Nazi Germans, and a few years later by, the, by, the, uh, by, by Russia. And Russia only after the inv German invasion, in invasion on Russia stopped being in favor of uh, uh, Nazis. Uh, so now uh, we would like to try to uh, get this uh, free competition. We would like to unveil all the information uh, uh, to the public after the transformation, especially in court system, which is the weakest uh, point of trust in Poland, together with the chairman of the uh, court tribunal, uh, who is breaking uh, uh, the constitution. And from 1990, 1990, from the moment of transformation, we had frequent changes of government, and only three governments including the present one, were not entangled uh, in, uh, in the post-communist uh, regime. The previous uh, governments were, did not uh, complete their term of office. In 1991, one government was overturned. So regaining con independence in 1990 was, in fact, the transformation, the system transformation of our occupation in which the military forces, the political forces, uh, they depended directly on the former Soviet Union and the system of transformation only from facade. So uh, the secret informers were actually eliminated, uh, considered to be the members of Solidarity, maybe the leader of, uh, of, 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 of that movement. But we a leader of Lech Wałęsa, who is considered to be a hero and all over the world. And we have the uh, documents in the archives for the secret informing and who throughout his life was also protecting the communist violators. We are at this point where the truth is very important and puts an obligation on us because next we have the uh, tomb of the priest, uh, Popie Łuszko, who was uh, mur tortured and mur murdered by the secret uh, police uh, uh, for his uh, true words and for his praying for, uh, for our country in the 80s. And the person who publicly uh, 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 was uh, persecuting the priest in everyday conferences uh, during communist times, Jerzy Urban, uh, in Poland after transformation did not uh, was not punished for what he uh, did. He actually gained huge fortune and his own press concern, and he is an owner of the weekly. And the features which characterize the communist systems it was unjust, injustice, uh, uh, lying, and today when we say liberalism, uh, um, naming by this word the activities of people who actually uh, introduce different concessions in trade, in, 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 in industry, or in press, they limit this freedom of speech, and they and they just make it as a political correctness in all uh, social issues. And I am starting now today my resistance
against all of this. So lying is disorientating, so it causes this that we make the false uh, choices. Today, uh, we feel a threat that people wanting to escape from the Islam terror and brutal uh, attack on families and escape from propaganda from Russia, which is the industry manufactured by the secret services of that country. country. So it will turn into the next terror, the Putin terror, and the resistance towards the lies uh, that I perceive. This is just a basic motivation why I am here, and I am very curious your personal motivations, why you want to take the floor uh, to support the idea of Voice for Europe. The purpose of this conference is to establish contacts, is the exchange of information, ideas, working out the methods of future cooperation in order to introduce the positive changes in Europe. And it is us who can use this potential, the potential of this meeting. Thank you very much for this attention.